what you say mm, That you only meant well But of course you did mm, what you say mm, That it's all for the best Of course it is what you say Ladies, Leon Trotsky here bringing you another Battlefield Bad Company 2 video. We got a squad deathmatch rant today, but uh, something a little special. We got a private match going the other day with Coin Obar and a bunch of the UK guys. And, uh, well, UK, I guess European. But, anyways, they got the uh, private squad deathmatch going where we decided to do some repair tool only, some defib only. I think it was repair tool and defib in this match, and I destroyed, even through all the lag, which you'll see here it was affecting everybody. It got pretty bad at points. Everybody was dancing around like idiots, but you know, it took some skill still to get the 25 kills or so with the uh, repair tool. I think I did pick up a couple random ones, you'll see me throw a grenade or two. I couldn't help myself to throw grenades when I see four people, five people all standing together. I just, you know, natural instinct just to throw a grenade. But you know, guns got fired a couple times. I got one kill by a gun. It was an accident. You'll see it in here. I got revived and whatnot. But I'm definitely down to do this again sometime. It was a lot of fun. I was laughing my ass off. I wish we had a wish we would have had a full party together this would have been uh, pretty funny to hear everybody joking around and we put it on hardcore mode which uh, I don't know if that was the brightest idea I made the repair tools really fast but uh, I think I got a couple team damages and I think I might have got a couple team kills just from running around in circles with that deep uh, the repair tool out just you know <laughs> I'm trying to you'll see because it gets crazy when everybody just kind of runs toward the center of the street all right next to each other <laughs> Oh god, it's so funny. And then you just kind of, kind of move in a circle. It was, it was all about strafing in the circle and kind of keeping everybody in front of you. Because it was very easy to just get ran up behind and just repair it to the back. Like, you'll see people keep trying to do that to me, so I got to quick turn around and try and catch people. But it was still a lot of fun. Um, in this game, I, I did leave a lot of the death screens in, and hopefully those horrible, like, drill sounds won't turn you off. But there was a couple of the death scenes were actually pretty funny. Or I mean, you just hear revive, 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 drill tool just going off like crazy. <laughs> uh, this was all all in good fun. And then you see people like squaring out because I think we had three squads, about three full squads going. And uh, oh man, it was good times, good times. So you see some of my strategies you can uh, use here for next time. A little crouched, crouched drill tool right to the nuts. <laughs> uh, people started trying to get the uh, our the tracer darts out too. And people, it was funny because like you would start chasing somebody down, but you can't really run that fast when you're repair tooling. So they would run away from you and then turn around and try and repair tool you. It was it was a classic. Um, so you guys, let me know if you want to do that again sometime. I'm definitely down to do something crazy like that. Or if you guys have any other idea for great private matches, let me know. Um, but I figured I'd kind of keep you updated on what's going on. Um, I'm doing this like a day or two ahead of when they are going to be. Uh, doing the big release for Battlefield 3, so I'm not going to be talking all about that, but bringing out a new video when new uh, new new details are released, should be released in the next few days. So we'll be able to talk more about Battlefield 3, I've seen all the trailers and everything, they're absolutely beautiful, and I can't wait for that game. Um, in the meantime, I've been playing a lot of FIFA, if you guys probably noticed, I've been playing a lot of this FIFA Ultimate Team, is something I really got, I don't know, it just got hooked on. Um, the way it works is... Uh, it's with FIFA, and it's basically like collecting baseball cards, kind of, but then you build a team to uh, play with online, you can play with it offline, and you just collect these different cards, and then you use those cards as players to uh, build your own team. But it starts coming crazy when, uh, you know, <clears throat> they have a live auction set up. So all these cards that you buy and all these cards that you get, uh, you can sell, you can buy new players, you can buy old players, you know, and it, it really creates a really interesting thing when there's all this money, not necessarily money, they're called coins essentially, but uh, you know, you 
live auctioning and stuff like that. It's really good times. I've got a few good teams that I put together. If anybody else has FIFA or Ultimate Team, let me know. I'm down to play. Uh, we're down to get some trades going. I don't know. I'm still trying to put together a pretty good team. I got. I think I'm at like four and a half or five stars. I got some good players, but it's all about chemistry in that game, which is a lot of fun. But man, I've been working on my FIFA skills. You guys better watch out. I've been getting my skill moves down and whatnot. But I'm having a good time with that. Um, <clears throat> let's see. What else have I been doing? Not much. Uh, let's see. As far as game-wise, I'm really looking forward to a new game, uh, either Homefront or Brink. I'm planning on playing both of them, probably buying uh, Brink, but we shall see. I'm really looking forward to those. Um, let's see what else has been going on in my life. There's still those revolutions been going on like crazy in the uh, you know North Africa, Middle East area. You know, it's just changing in the world. Once you know, once one group of people sees that a change can take place with the you know popular revolution. And inspires other people to do the same thing. So, you know, these dictators should be taking notice of anybody else that thinks that they have a chance to uh, hold on to power with uh, all their military might. Might think twice about that. But anyways, guys. <clears throat> let's see what else I got going on in my life. Um, I am going snowboarding tomorrow. I live in California, and we recently just got dumped on with snow. Uh, a ton of snow up in the local mountains. I think the snow level got down to like a thousand feet recently. And I live in like Southern California, LA area. And they had snow out in the valley, like Burbank and uh, Simi Valley area. It's a couple inches of snow out there, I heard, which is pretty crazy. So I'm going up to the local mountains tomorrow to get a little snowboarding in. Hope there's some fresh pow pow. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it should be good times. But I was recently just watching. I don't know if you guys. Maybe I'll bring my camera up. I'll let, let me know if you guys want to see any. Uh, up some me snowboarding. Probably not doing any crazy tricks or anything, but just me riding. So let me know about that. This guy jumps in the water here. I was like, you know, I'll be clever. I'll tracer dart him, you know, maybe, you know, shoot an RPG at him. Look at him, he just gets up and shoots me in the face. I was so mad about that when that happened. <laughs> oh, anyways, guys. So, yeah, I was watching this uh, snow... It was a skiing video. Have you guys ever seen any of those snowboarding or skiing videos? It was at Warren Miller's Playground. And, you know, it was just like big mountain skiing and stuff like that. But there was this one clip that I was recently watching. I was primarily watching because I'm going snowboarding tomorrow. I was like, oh, snow, big powder, mountains, yay. But there was this one clip. They were in the Alps. And they were, you know, heli boarding or whatever they do. You know, the helicopter takes them up to the top of the mountain. They jump off. But they got the genius idea to take, like, like kite surfing parachutes with them. It was crazy. They were—they basically jumped off the mountain with skis on their feet and a parachute on their back. And they were just riding down the mountain with the parachute. It was insane. It was like basically skydiving, skiing off a mountain. Insaneness, madness, craziness. It looked epic. They were going so fast. It's called like speed skiing or something like that. But it was just amazing looking. I... My jaw dropped on us. I've never heard or seen anything like that. I guess they're only doing it over in Europe just because they have mountains big enough. But man, I, I've never been skydiving. That's another thing that I have on my you know bucket list to do. Is I want to go. Well, I you know everybody says a bucket list. My bucket list is the list to have the, the, the list that to have of risks that I can take before I have <laughs> like a family and children that make me not want to take those risks. And skydiving is one of those. You know, I want to you know jump from the sky and just free fall. I think it'd be a crazy feeling. Uh, let me know if you guys have done that before. I really want to do it soon. Um, but you know, I it, it's also risk. You know, um, if I had a family and kids, I'm not going to do that. But I don't, so, you know, chances I can take. But, you know, same with snowboarding. I don't do jumps anymore because I don't, you know, I'm not... Ugh, health insurance. I don't want to worry about killing myself out on the slopes. Like I used to, you know, 18 years old, toss myself off those jumps like it was no big deal. But, you know, you start moving up in the age and think twice about your body condition and whatnot. So. Anyways, guys, I guess that's enough about snowboarding and off-topic gaming and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know, you know, some, some people like snowboarding. I still gotta get a good poker game. There's been on and off poker games, but I still haven't played a good poker game with a lot of foot. We should get a full, like, uh, tournament poker game going. That's what really needs to happen. Tournament poker, you know, sit and go with the whole battlefield community. Everybody, you know, nine, ten people at a table would be good times. Um, so let me know what you think. Did you guys get a crack up on this uh, repair tool only video? I. <laughs> Uh, I'm just laughing just thinking about how much fun it was. I should have sped up some of these clips because it was running through stuff. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you uh, had any comments on uh, other uh, ideas for private matches that you think would be fun besides, you know, repair tool, T-Fib only. Um, I think we tried getting, like, smoke launcher only, but it was really hard with, uh, because they had, they had it set on the hardcore difficulty, so you didn't have the uh, crosshairs for the smoke launcher, and it was... But he was just shooting smoke around. And the, 
<laughs> the whole screen, like the whole map was just smoked out like crazy. So, I think who runs up here and gets his last kill with the defib. <laughs> uh, so my final kill total, I think I got like 25 kills. And you'll be able to see that there was only like two or three kills that I didn't get with the repair tool. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Keeping it real, Leon Trotsky, you know how we do. Uh, stay tuned for some more battlefields, more random stuff. Let me know if you want to see some snow. Guys, Leon Trotsky, over now.